you know where Lynn or Jean work? Because we're going to try to find some phone numbers for them. We need some work numbers. Um, if they work at. So, Jean is a PhD student. She's working from home. Okay. Um, Lynn works. Um, and I'm kind of forgetting what the name of the place is that she works. But she does like Holocaust. Uh, recovery stuff, Department of Financial Services, maybe. D it's not DBPR, it's, it might be DFS, but her so husband- She works for the state, though. Her husband and I are close to, like, um, okay. friends with the family. Um, her husband's name is Alan Grossman, A-L-L-E-N, and um, he has his own law firm in town, so he should be really easy to find. Okay, it's like Grossman, but furlough and bio, maybe. Do you know what street it's off of by chance? Probably down to Okay, that's good. You can find him and find his number, an and he's usually at work. Okay. I'm trying to think. All of my really, really close friends live out of town. Um, but. <sighs> yeah. Okay. And go. I'm going to try to do just some Google stuff real quick, and then. I'll come back. Okay. God, we really should start memorizing more phone numbers. I used to know yeah. that. It, it's just technology that makes it easier for us. Um, I'm going crazy in this white room. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, it's not the... It's not like pictures from No, no. Anymore. I just feel like I'm in a Twilight Zone, and I keep picturing the kids, like, at a funeral, having to say goodbye to their dad, and I just... I just can't take one believe I have to do me. this to them. Do you, um... <laughs> Do you want me when I find their numbers? Do you? Is it okay if I call your yeah. friends? Yeah, okay, it's fine. Me, and I can go and tell them. I can really use some help. Okay, taking care of the boys tonight. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, I'm trying to think of who else I would call. My closest friend in town is on vacation right now with her family. Well, we'll start with Lynn and see kind of where we get from there. So she. Okay. Okay. we have do you want um if we get in touch with one of your friends you think it's best if maybe they picked up the kids first or just because it's 4 15 now i didn't know time wise what would be like it i just don't want to bring them i was going to say i don't want to traumatize them but they're no. about to get probably traumatized um and then they can take them home right i just I don't mean, know what would be less upsetting for the boys that's, like that's up to you um I my my what I would most like, or we can make arrangements with the school and just say, look, it's going to be a little late. You need to work with us and mom and a friend. Will I come. think they do keep it open till like five thirty okay. or so. Um, so what I would most like would be to pick them up myself okay. and have someone with me in okay. case I don't feel like I can drive That's well. Fine. That's fine. And Lynn would be your first option Lynn to come here. Lynn would be here. my first choice. Or Alan, her husband. Okay. And you're okay with me speaking with them and telling them to come here? Yeah. First, and we let my car is. Um, we have the cars here. Oh, they got it here. I think they were bringing it here. And I, have, I think. Did they take my keys? I don't How did know. they get the car here? I don't know. I guess you guys. Well, I may be wrong. <laughs> I thought. Um, and in this theater, Isom, yeah. it may still be at the other place. Was going to touch base. Okay. <laughs> I, I may not. I may be wrong. Was going to touch base with you about because I know he's done a bunch of different stuff as far as doing your hands and all that stuff um, to see if you'd be willing to let us look in your car to see if there's you anything, look, you, you know. Okay. Search the car. And so he'll have another form for you. That's Fine. Okay, so I will call them and the question is, I will not tell them what's going on until they get here. I would tell them. 
Okay. I just didn't know them driving. If are they good friends with him as well? Um, they. I mean, they've been mutual friends, but okay. they're more my friends. Okay. I and mean, I think I think everyone's going to be them. Sure. And, and maybe I'll just say that you're up here. You're fine, but they need to come pick you up, and then we can do that here. You know. I mean, I. I think you can tell them okay. when you need help. Um, picking That's up fine. the boys. Yes. Because and, of yeah. what's happened. Like, I think you can tell them why okay. you need them. That's fine. And that's fine. And she said she's fine with the van, search of the van and stuff. When she, yeah, because we, we were talking about that. Um, All right, I will take care of this, Wendy. Thank, thank you. you. I don't know who that is. So she's on her She's on the she's she's oh. my sergeant with us. So. Okay. Um, that was very gentle of me. Sorry. That was right. No, you're okay. Uh, so I'm to my because she's a woman. No, um, you're welcome. I'll fill out whatever paperwork you want. Okay, right here. Search the van. I can read it. Okay. Yeah. Be with us, sir. Sure. We got um, an alternative to for the kids. What's the alternative? Uh, I mean, that, um, right now, it. Joanna's calling um, one of her friends that she gave us some time to see if they can have the friend come here, right. and then they, they can go together and pick up the children. Okay. That way, she'll have the support system. Right. So. Absolutely. Um, the receipt you just rolled up, what was that for? That was lunch. I was trying to find the receipt from the bourbon, but I may have put it with the bourbon. This is from yesterday. This lunch. But these are old ones. I was looking for the bourbon, but I must have put it in the bag with the bourbon that I kept in the car. Can I hold on to this one for Mosaic? Sure. Okay. Do you need it to balance your book in? No, okay. sorry, that's fine. Uh, what's this? I just didn't want you to think I was crumbling up other receipts. <laughs> no, it wasn't for that. I just was thinking before. No, I just thought I would find the bourbon one, yeah. but I, I must have put it in the bag. Just looking at the date. I eat a lot. <laughs> I lost the key to my house, so I went to buy many spare keys to give to friends around town so I don't get locked out of my house again. Okay. So that's All what right. that is. It's my many spare keys that are now around Tallahassee, which now makes me nervous. Okay. Um, so, oh, I know the receipt that I might be interested in is the gas receipt. Yeah. Oh, I asked for no receipt, okay. so I can give you my That's okay. charge card um, information. But I if, I, if I need it later on, I didn't get a receipt. That's all right. Okay. But you got the you bought the bourbon over there sometime afternoon, and then went to. Okay. All right. Um, it should be the bourbon's in the car, okay. so it should be in there. Okay. I'll get started on this, and we'll hold on to this. Are you um, bringing the car here? Yes, it's. I think it's already here. How did they bring it here without Tow keys? Tow truck. truck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to be as efficient as possible. Um, all right, so we're working on the... the, mm -hmm. the yep, Joanna's trying to make contact now with some friends. Okay, and then they'll come here, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, as long as she needs. Do you think I need to... I, I had like a whole weekend of plans ahead with the kids and stuff. Like, should I start contacting people and let them know that like I can't I just what's a good idea um I just like I'm not gonna I can't show up for like play dates right now so sure yeah um, um I don't know like do you want me not to tell people what's going on is this like well I got that call from Lisa Perry so like how did she find out well she said she saw something in Everett or her she said right? she heard there was a shooting on Trescott I thought because she's a real estate agent maybe she was right. rolling around and she saw Trescott but how did like is there is it all the news like did well I can tell you that there was news media out there with cameras but I don't know if anything has been reported as to as to the specific address okay um, I don't know what our public information office has released I'm asking for you like okay I what's I don't want to like make this she wants to know what she can tell people or what she can't right now which in well, terms of 
making things better or worse for you? Um, I would say that for right now, you know, I would not deny to anybody that something did happen. But, but if can, I'm, I'm going to call and cancel all my, like, I'm supposed to be at a party right. tonight, like, Okay, I can't. Basically, I can't go. There's, there's been. An so I can just tell there. people I'm just not going to be able to be right. there. I'll talk to you later, and that's right. it. That's okay. Fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't want you. I don't. I don't want you not to have a support network of friends. Yeah. And there, well, I will tell who needs to know, but right. like, I also. I don't, I don't, you uh, want to explain this to a thousand people. Well, it's not about, it's yes, mm -hmm. um, but I, and I don't think that's good for the kids. Like, I don't want people, I don't know what to do about, like, the kids are really young. I don't know what to do in terms of that, that reaction, but I also am kind of scared that there's, like, some maniac out there, and I, I would like for you to find whoever that is, so I don't want to make things worse in some way in terms of you being able to find someone. Okay. All that's right. all I'm asking. Just, uh, I would just only tell just, the people that need to know that okay. are closest to you for your benefit and anyone else uh, if they inquire just you can tell them any excuse you want you can say the police have asked me not to discuss it okay it's as simple as that I'll throw you under the bus okay I'm used to that <laughs> <laughs> okay that's it I swear I'm just blowing my nose you're all right. <laughs> <sighs> Sarah, your job is very hard. It is. <laughs> you have a very nice personality for it. Very calming. Thank you for saying that. That's kind of how I sell myself sometimes on doing this. It's so. really hard. Do you know Gwen? Is Gwen Williams? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I think we did a presentation at a Red Cross human trafficking. Sure, I did. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I am. Um, That's all we should wear. We? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was me. I thought so. <laughs> Because when they were kind of telling me, you know, who I was going to be talking with, I was like, that sounds familiar. And I had the boys there that morning, and that's why I, like, talked to them. And I remember out. you talking about your boys, actually, too. Well, it's good to see you again. <laughs> Sorry, under these circumstances. I feel like I'm in the middle of a nightmare. This isn't something that anyone on going through or wants to go through we were so divorced it, it wasn't good but like <laughs> this is never something <laughs> you would ever want to happen <laughs> um <laughs> i just <sighs> i understand why i'm a suspect i guess i'm not a suspect i understand why you would think that i would do this but not you but right uh, I'm just worried about the kids, and I'm so sorry for his family <laughs> and for his children who are now going to grow up without a father. <laughs> and I'm, I have no idea who would do this, and I feel like they're out there. And if they're capable of this, like, what's to keep them from going after the kids? Like, if they hate Danny, then why would they hate his children? And, and you know, they're doing this investigation now to kind of figure out what happened. Um, he didn't do it to himself. There's no way he did it. He never really got depressed. He never got that sad. You know, like, he was a right. really positive guy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't him. And you, you know, just because you guys are divorced, you probably know him very well, probably better than anyone else does. So Except for the last two years. Like, I don't know specifics of, like... Well, right, his personal life, but you still know his personality. I do. And, you know, personalities usually don't change very often, so... Yeah. I, um... I'm going to have a hard time not being sad in front of the boys. I need to tell them today, don't I? I think you do. Um, have you done this before? Does it have I told done this before? Have I told children? You know, I have not as young as your boys. Why um, do I tell them? You know where your boys are at. You know kind of what you've talked to your boys, you know, and I know they're so young, you know, some parents have conversations about life and death and things like that, and some haven't at that age. We had our first conversation about God. Okay. Yesterday. Okay. Ever. 
and then his buddy Richard's car seat and Ben out of nowhere says, Bobby, I bet Abba knows a lot more about God than you do. And I said, well, I said different people have different beliefs about mm-hmm. God. And so we get to the car and Ben was like, is God a man or a woman? I said, well, some people believe that he uh, or she is an old white man with a long white beard. <laughs> and Lincoln, who's three and a half, said, God is dead. <laughs> and Ben's your oldest son, and then who's your three and a half year old? Lincoln. Lincoln, and I said, I, I said, Lincoln, like, I was like, it's like Beachy in the back seat. Like, I was like, Lincoln, who's still in diapers, but is having a sophisticated conversation <laughs> about God. And I just was laughing and laughing, but, and they were asking, such interesting questions and I was answering them with like different people think different things and you know but it was just our first time we ever had a conversation really they talk about superheroes a lot and so sometimes they'll say they'll joke they'll fall over and be like I'm dead and I say I really don't like it when you Mm -hmm. say that and you know they've talked about like animals being like he's dead Mm -hmm. like on the ground and they even quasi understand Lincoln's named after my grandmother and whose initials are LJ so his initials are LJ he would say to my mom, who's still very heartbroken over the loss of her mother, he'd say to her mom, like, is your mommy dead? Mm-hmm. And she'd say, yes, you know, you're named after him. And, and he'd say something like, well, is she in heaven then? You know, like, so they have some fleeting concept of okay. things like God, they know heaven, heaven. I mean, I don't know. And, and let me just kind of back. Um, I'm not sure what investigator Ison kind of told you. You know that he's still alive. No, I didn't know that. He's, he's, is he possibly going to make it? I don't know the answer to that. I know. He made it sound like he was gone. So does that mean that he might be okay? I don't think, from what it sounds like, I don't think he'll be the the same. same. Okay, but he might make it. I don't Wait, want to give you that false hope. I'm sorry, I just thought no, he okay. was gone, and now I don't know what to tell. It's sort of a game changer. I know, and that's why I was kind of asking you. Um, I didn't know that. He made, I mean, it sound I like, he made it sound like he was gone. I don't think it's good, though. Um, I know it's, I mean, that's sort of what he said, but I assumed he was saying that, like, euphemistically. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's... And that's why I'm kind of at because I didn't want, and I don't want to be misleading. Is there any way to find out if, like, because if he might be okay, like, I want to bring the kids to him so that they can. And that's kind of stuff we'll talk about in a little, but let me ask him. (laughs) Um, I just think that's different, right? Like, if he's not going to make it and he can see the kids one more time, then he should see them. So, is there, like, are we getting updates from the hospital? They have been, you know, they were at the hospital. Obviously, when, you know, something like this happens, they do go to the hospital. How did how did this, so when it happened, did someone call the police because they heard a gunshot or something? I like, did. how would it, how would they know to, like, did he call the police? How would they know to take him to the hospital? I don't know the answers to all these, and I'm not, you know, I just, I'm going to let, when Investor Eisen comes back in here, I'll let you kind of ask some of those questions. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Um, but I didn't want you to think, I'm sorry, I just didn't want you to think that he was clean. I thought he was gone. And, and that, that's what I was getting from your conversation, and I didn't want it to be. If he's still alive, I need to make different choices. I want the boys to be with him. I don't know. I mean, if he looks scary, then... Right, and that's why... It... Is that why? Does he look scary? Is that why? I don't know. I, I haven't seen him. Because I think... I think that would be more traumatizing for the kids to see like something horrible. Right. Um, I don't want them to. And I will say, from a victim advocate perspective, yep. I always recommend people not, to, especially young children. I They're mean, so little. I mean, they right. could like. I want them to have. If it's gonna have to be memories, I want them to be good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, because their last memory would have been him taking them to school this morning. Mm-hmm. This morning. <laughs> Is the, is the police officer still at school? Like, are the boys safe there right now? I don't know the for sure answer to that, but I do know that they checked on them. And I know I they checked on them, I, but, like, 
because I just want to make sure they're okay. okay. Let me let me go talk and let me ask them that for you. I, Wendy, look at me. There's no reason for them to think that anything's going to happen to the boys right now, okay? Okay. And I just want you to know that there's no indications that. But why would someone do this? Like, why would they just come after my whole family? I do hear your concern. I, I do. I just want you to know, though, like, there's no, if there was an indication. I mean, there's no indication some crazy person was going to kill Danny, so why would they not think someone was going to, like, anything could happen, right? From what I understood, that there was someone that was at the school. I did they don't find, did they, don't, they didn't find anyone, like, running away at the scene, yeah. did they? I don't know that answer, okay? okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I know I'm giving you a lot of, I don't know. I don't know, I'd rather that than you make something okay. up, but I just... I just have no idea what's happening right now. I'm sorry. Let me go. Let me go see and try to talk to the investigator Isom and see if he can give you a little bit okay. more clarity. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. tried Lynn's office and of course it's you know she's a state worker at 4 30 on a Friday so she wasn't there I called phone for my phone and not yet okay. I called Alan what and your Sergeant Baldwin Joanna sorry and I spoke with um, his secretary he didn't answer his cell phone I did get a hold of Jane okay so she is on her way okay and I'll keep trying Alan they were sending him a whatever message to his phone so he will probably call me did you tell what happened no i told her i didn't want to tell her over the phone i said i'm sorry i'm being cryptic something's happened with her ex-husband and she needs you here and we need help picking up the kids and you're free to go with her when she gets here or work on car seats they may be done doing what they need to do with your van oh when she gets here so y'all can take your car or we can get the car seats however we need to do it okay okay, okay. do you want anything to drink or I know that's probably the last thing on your mind, but um, anything to drink or snack or I know you were at lunch, but uh, just some water. Some water? Okay. okay. Thank you. No problem. You got somebody? Yep. She's on her way. Okay. Where is she going? She's coming here. Okay. And then I told her we would figure it out from there. She doesn't have car seats, so we need to work that out. Couch? couch? Because he's uh, moved mm -hmm. the van. Okay. And they can uh, move the car seats over to the yep. other car. And I didn't know if we'd be done or what, but we will get those. Yeah. All right. This is, I'm trying to keep you informed as much as possible. Thank you. I'm trying to be in a bunch of places at once. Um, My grandmother would say you can't have your tuchus in two places at once. <laughs> it's hard That's to true. Do. That's true. Um, I'm just losing my mind over here. I, okay. This is the thing. All right. I'm, I'm, my understanding, okay, I'm going to give you the, the let me do it backwards because this will be, this will be easier, or not backwards, but the other, the other way. Um, Is he still alive? Clinically, he's not going to live. What does that mean? He, he's, he's, he has Is he a severe, dead? yes, his severe brain injury. It, so much shot him in the head. It's, it's, apparently there's, there's too much damage to recover from it. okay that's why we need to get a hold of his, his family right. i don't know what his like it, i don't know if he has an advanced directive or right. what he would have wanted he once told me that he would want all we joked i said i would want to be like if I was ever, I have an advanced directive. I do this kind of work. I run a medical legal partnership. Like if I once said, if I ever was like brain dead, I would want to be like, I'd want the plug pulled. Right. And he said he would want all efforts made. Like he would be cryogenically frozen. Like he wanted every single effort that could be made to keep him alive. I know that much. My understanding 
and that's what we'll have to get a hold of the family as soon as possible. But my understanding is there is irreparable damage. There's nothing that can be done. I mean, he's, I don't, I'm not there, I wasn't there, but I understand from, from previous cases that the, the brain, his, his brain is damaged beyond repair. There's nothing that can be done for that. Is he still alive? Should I bring the kids to see him? No, no, no. He has severe facial injury. I'm, I'm sorry, and I know this is tough, but I would not want my children to see. Okay. Okay, I just thought I got this inkling that maybe he was like still somewhat conscious and I no. wanted him to get to be with them with that. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry about that, but that's okay. that's, that's the way the, that's the way it is. They, like I said, okay. know, there's severe severe uh, injury trauma. Okay. All right, is so, there someone like, is there a doctor like working on him or are they just? There's, there's doctors at the trauma bay, the ER. I, yeah. don't, I think he's been transferred to ICU. Okay. All right. And they'll have to make a determination about organs. Oh my God. And so forth. Oh. So, hence, Hopefully we can. Uh, okay, expert. the kids. Yeah, the kids. All right, now let's talk about the kids. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, your, I don't know who the contact person was. Was it one of the ladies that you were eating with? I think no, Miss McPherson. I thought I wasn't supposed to contact them, so I didn't ask about those two because I thought it seemed. Anyway, I That's asked fine. two other women I'm friends with. Okay, that are familiar with and the Jane children. Jane is who they got. Do they have? To, does the daycare place have to be contacted to allow her to? Oh, I, I kind of thought I would go with her. Okay, here's the thing. All right, as soon as this phone comes back, yeah, I have to ask you some questions about what's what's already I've already known about the phone. Yeah, would it be possible for? It would be weird for Jane to like Jane likes the boys a lot, but it would be better for Lynn to pick them up just because Lynn has picked them up before, like when Danny had a back surgery. Okay. They're really, they call her Aunt Lindy. They're really close with her. If we could get the cell phone, her cell phone number. Okay. Um, Do or Lynn and Jane know each other at all? Probably like, a little through me, but. they're not friends. Um, yeah. I mean, Jane would be, she's, Jane's a therapist. Like, she'd be very comforting. She has two kids of her own. She'd be fine. But I'm trying not to freak the kids out any more than necessary. So Lynn would, Lynn or Alan, her husband, Alan or Lynn would be the best choice. You don't have a number by heart for them? No. Okay. Here, let me go chat with Joanna and see Please. where she got. Is if she got far with him. The, the reason being is you need to talk to me. Yes. Okay. And you've been you've been great. I mean, you understand exactly how we have to do things, and I haven't had to explain a lot of stuff. But really, I, I feel the need to. I, I I really want you here. Okay. If if you know, and and you're not under arrest or anything like that. I understand why you but, think uh, I'm but, the primary suspect. No, you're not the primary suspect. I have to work just as hard whether you were or you're not okay okay I understand. to to show what your activities were yeah okay yeah um and and let's put it this way i think you're a straightforward person and i think at this point if you had anything to do with this you'd have already told me okay and you haven't so so my my thing is is that let's let the my ex-husband caused me a lot of grief <laughs> I would never do something like this. I know. <laughs> and, and it's so good. I understand why I okay. would be the person you would think would do something. But well, we have to work just as hard to eliminate It's people. fine. I want to figure out who this is because right. I'm honestly worried. Well, let me ask you. If you found out that this was someone that you personally know, would that change your mind about what should happen to that person? About what should happen to that person? For prosecution purposes. Um, no. <laughs> Is there any somebody, way that you would think somebody, somebody could... tried to kill my ex-husband? They should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Regardless of who it is. I mean, it would be different if I thought it were my brother, but I don't think it was my family. Uh, anyone outside my immediate family, that's a tough one. Okay. But I don't think my immediate family did this. So okay. if it's anybody else, yeah. Okay. Would, would you think that this guy, Charlie, would even be capable of doing something like this? No. <laughs> 
No. Let's just talk. He's the choker. Okay. All right. Based on the fact that the clock is already ticking, all right, and we have to do as much work as possible up front, that's why I want you to stay here okay. if at all possible. Okay. But you're this ch these children's mother, and if they have somebody, you can't freak them out. You know, like, nobody's gonna freak them out. I know. I'm just saying, like my kids, like they're already gonna have to deal with so much. Like they're gonna wonder where I am, and the best thing would be Lynn and Alan to have them hang around with them. Um, my friend Janine, I was with two women. One of them is a well, they're both doctors, but one of them um, has kids that the boys are friends with, and so like he could go over their house. Um, they could go over to their house and spend time. I just don't, I don't want them like, where's mommy? <laughs> mommy going busy. On? Mommy busy can't come here right now. Will that suffice? For a little while, okay. yeah. All right. Lynn, do we have a number for Lynn? Um, Joanna tried to get in contact with her, left a message at um, Alan's office for him to call. Because they haven't heard back yet. Um, Can they page him? Like, do they have a... Now I know um, Jane's on the way here, um, and you just don't think she... I mean, I, I think she'd be okay. I think I'd rather Jane. Jane has just never picked up the kids before. Would the, would the school have a problem with Jane picking them up? Given the circumstances, no. Okay. Well, I mean, do they do they have to have authorization? They probably do. They. I mean, I can call the school, and I mean, this is a very unusual circumstance. I can call the school and tell them I approve Jane McPherson okay. to pick up the kids, and then. Does she have a place to take them? I mean, she has a nice house, a comfortable, you know, like she a child-friendly house. I'm just, I mean, I know she's on her way here She doesn't now, know so. what happened, I don't think. Okay. She just knows I'm here. Right. Um, let's, uh, let's get Jane's on her way here, all right, and the school's out on Tharp, and I'm assuming she lives up in the northeast part of town. Quite an assumption. Um, yeah, she's off Waverly. And her husband is a writer, so he, like the both parents are around. Okay. Let's um, have Jane. Do you want me to talk to her, or, or just tell her that, uh, or or have Joanna tell? Her, I'll talk to. I her think her. someone should. Jane is um, was a victim advocate too for a while. She's Jane, in there. Jane McPherson. McPherson. My what friend was she Jane. A victim advocate? In Gadsden. Okay. Maybe she wasn't. She's a therapist. Okay. Um, Did she do something at the university now, or she used it? She was the one million bones woman. Okay, that's where I know it was coming right. from. Will you call? Will you coordinate with her? And let her call the school to have Jane pick the children up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna redirect Jane to the school directly. Okay. It's the it's creative list. preschool, it's on Tharp. Right past there's a Magnolia school, and then there's Creative on your right. Creative. It's right up here, right? It's on Tharp. Um, there's Tharp a couple. West, west of town. Mm, there's a couple. I'm really bad with directions. If you were to go all the way up Tennessee right. and turn right, like on, I think it's Ocala, right, right. where Super Perros is, and, and then you'd make a left on Tharp, you'd go up a little ways more and it would be on your right. Creative preschool. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Come in the bathroom if you need to. Okay. Do you want to go away from it? No. I'm no. fine. Okay. Well, let me know if it's that. Uh... I'm just going to Google it. That's okay. Creative preschool, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Uh huh. Do you want? It's like a whole cast of characters. You get Jane from One Million Bones. Were you involved in that? Um, I knew about it. I know I saw a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. I can't talk. I've done anything directly with it. But do you want me to talk to them first, or do you want to? What would, would you tell them what happened, or no? No. Okay. Um, I will talk to them. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Chuck. This is Wendy Ben and Lincoln's mom. Hi. Um, I'm not going to be able to pick them up today, but my friend Jane McPherson's going to come. Is that okay? Her name is Jane McPherson. She's a petite woman with short blonde hair. Yes. 
Um, she should have her idea if she's driving. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chuck. Are the boys doing okay? Okay. Well, that sounds great. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Link is outside playing. Ben is in the blocks area playing with blocks. They're only a year and a half apart, so they'll be like a year behind months. each other every time in school, right? They have um, Ben's a July birthday, Lincoln's October, so they made it up a little more space. Okay. In. So like have the yeah, because July he'll probably be like the young baby in classes. So that was our he'll be the older. That's what we were supposed to talk about this morning. Is like whether Ben should start kindergarten or go to kindergarten twice or what he should do. Um, and then he didn't call me back, which was weird. Um, Are you thirsty? Yeah. Let me see if I... Is it Joanne or Joanna? Joanna. She said she was going to bring some water. Okay. We're kind of all running around. Let me, let let me fill that for you. Not let me around. grab some more tissue, too. <laughs> I've gone through. Oh, I want to be around you. <laughs> I just know if I was sitting here, what would I probably want? Not much, but I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 